Looking live at Everbank Field where Coach Doug Marone says the quarterback position is, quote, up for grabs. It was not a good night for Blake Bortles in the preseason home opener. Jaguars fell to the Buccaneers 12-8. to News for Jacks, Jaguars analyst Mark Brunel joins us here on the morning show. Mark, a nationally televised disaster. Man, it was, <laughs> it was ugly. It was bad, Bruce. On a night when Blake Bortles really needed to shine, he did not do well. Uh, in the first quarter, a poorly thrown a ball, poor decision, and two bad throws in the second Here. quarter. And here's the first one. When you get Allen Robinson open like that, you can't leave it short. Bruce, you've got to get the ball out there, throw it to Allen, hit him in stride at a time when the offense needed a spark. Uh, they just didn't get it. And that, and that really was unfortunate for Blake Bortles. He, like I said, he needed a big night. There's a quarterback controversy at Everbank Field now, and, and it's, uh, it's interesting, and, but rightly so. I think the fans are calling for a change of quarterback. And uh, that very well could happen. Here's another one. Blake Bortles yeah. steps up. He's got an in route. Again, to Allen Robinson, Bruce on, a, on a, what's called a dig route, a 15-yard in cut. You should hit that nine out of ten times. I know the ball's down the field a little bit. But once again, Blake leaves it short. He didn't look comfortable. He didn't look confident. Um, no real presence about him. It seems like he's very hesitant, very cautious, not aggressive. Uh, but just not a good night. Let me ask you the question. Uh, I, knew I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. Is it time to replace Bortles? It's only the second preseason game. And I think what Doug's trying to do here by opening up the competition is say, listen, this is your last shot. We're, you've got two more preseason games. You've got more practices. I don't believe Doug Marone wants to give up on him yet. But really his play demands that you look at other options. And that other option is, is Chad Henney. They will compete, um, and it'll be interesting. But uh, uh, And it's not really just how they practice, Bruce. It's really who the team believes in. And I get a feeling right now, I get a sense that, this, that the team really believes in Chad Henney, and they want him to be their quarterback in the opener. All right, here's what the coach did have to say about this whole situation. I'm not going to sit here and, and uh, BS anyone. I mean, everyone saw it out there. Uh, whatever you want to call it, I'm still trying to evaluate who the best person is at that position. I told that to uh, both quarterbacks to lead the offense. But I also said this, uh, I, haven't, I wasn't able to speak to the team after I spoke to both quarterbacks, but I just want to make sure everyone understands that if you can do this at the quarterback position, you know, all, all the other positions are very easy to do. All right, so you said it's who the team believes in. You said right now they believe in Chad Henney. Look at this play here, if I can get this to roll. He throws to Robinson. Robinson should have had a touchdown there. Well, actually, this is, uh, this is Chad Henney on Chad Henney's first throw. This is to Keelan Cole. Oh, I'm Chad sorry. Henney steps in, throws a perfect ball. Watch where this ball lands. The rookie had an opportunity for a touchdown there. Now, Chad Henney, we talked about two throws with Blake Bortles. Chad Henney only had two throws in the whole first half. But they really should have been touchdowns. A drop tough touchdown pass to Keelan Cole. Uh, this one, and then he has another one. Uh, to Allen Robinson. A contested ball, it gets broken up, but watch Chad Henney. He just has a lot of confidence. He knows where he wants to go with the ball. Strike Tight the coverage. There. It hits him right in the belly, Bruce. And these are the kind of throws that you expect a starting quarterback to make. Chad Henney could be that starter. He only had two passes in the first half, but I thought he looked sharp. He stepped in and, and like I said, made good decisions, threw the ball well. Two throws could be, you know, one of them should have been a touchdown. They should have, both should have been a touchdown. Uh, but it just didn't happen. So, you know, it's going to be interesting. It's interesting down there right now. I don't think I want to be within two inches of either Doug Marone or Tom <laughs> Coughlin this morning. It's probably some heated conversations. A lot of... Uh, I bet Coach didn't sleep much. Probably not. If you'd like to rewatch this interview later this morning and share it with your friends or read Mark's Monday morning quarterback report, just click the sports section on newsforjacks.com. And starting Monday, catch the Mark Brunel Show on CW17 at 7 o'clock. By the way, you can go out there and watch him live at Sneakers at the Beach. Come on out and enjoy.